Hey guys, uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the HP20 from Phoenix. Uh, it's one of the newer headlamps. Uh, I'm looking for a couple new headlamps, so I'm trying some stuff out to update my uh, update my kit. But uh, it actually comes in a nice little box. It's got a uh, cute little carrying handle. I doubt I'll ever be carrying it quite like that. But let's see how we get in here. See, it's a nice, nice little box. It's got the uh, outputs, ranges, impact, distance, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll put it maybe in annotations, but this one is pretty impressive. Um, there's a couple things that drew me to this light. Uh, the only downside right now is I wasn't really looking for a double A uh, driven light. Uh, I wanted something to replace the. Uh, the Princeton Apex Pro that I have that uses the CR123s. Uh, but on this, your low is six lumens, which I love that Phoenix is really getting some low lumens in there. That's 296 hours, which, what is that in days? Over 10 days, uh, almost 11 days of constant usage on six lumens. Uh, Mid range is 51 lumens. Um, right around the first generation of the Surefires, uh, the 6P that a lot of you guys know, or the uh, P60. Um, that gives you 24 hours runtime, so a complete 24 hours on 51 lumens, which is pretty respectable. Uh, high is 125 lumens, which is kind of right up, I'm sorry, right up on uh, like the Phoenix um, E2D LED version that I have. Uh, that's 120 on high, I believe. And that gives you eight hours and 24 minutes, so easily a couple nights of out hiking um, on high. Now their high is actually called their turbo. They've got a higher mode, which is 230 lumens, which is a little bit higher than I've seen. The newer uh, Princeton Apex Pro is 200 lumens, I believe, and um, still looking at that. They're about the same price point, but. Um, on turbo, you get three hours and 29 minutes, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the neat thing is the flashing modes that it carried over from a lot of the Phoenix flashlights that it has. It has a strobe mode, which I love in the Phoenix lights. It's all 230 lumens strobing up, uh, which is incredible. Uh, it doesn't live, give run times for them. And then it has a slow flashing, which is only 51 lumens. So I think it'd be really perfect for um, like biking and stuff. Uh, Let's see, SOS is also 51 lumens. So, very respectable. It's got a really neat, cool case here. Let's see how we get this out. I don't really have fingernails, so let's see if we can pop that up. Set that to the side. The one thing you'll notice right now is it does have a separate battery pack. Uh, this hip clip right here for attaching on the bags or your belt or something like that then the battery thing is here and we'll get in a little bit closer down the road uh, it does have a separate uh, battery controller there's a master on and off switch right here uh, typical Phoenix headband uh, also has a little attachment to uh, to run <clears throat> the band through the other side or put the pack back there Looks like we got some instructions. Probably won't read a couple clips we'll have to take a look at. Also has some sort of alligator clips. That's probably to help uh, guide the, the longer cable um, through your gear. There's actually two of those alligator clips. Some smaller clips and a third over the head band. So let me grab some batteries and uh, we'll load this guy up. Alright, I'm just pulling out some of my bulk stuff. I'm not going to put any rechargeables in here. Um, if I remember reading correctly, I think it doesn't encourage you to use lithiums, which I'll have to check. But uh, this is just an initial video. We'll do some nice shots and play around with, with it for a while. Uh, one of the, my initial uh, impressions was for it's waterproof case, which is one reason I'm trying to replace the uh, the Apex Pro after its deep damage. Um, it is no longer waterproof. Uh, so, looking for something waterproof, and this also gives you the ability to 
um, run this inside your jacket pocket for extreme cold uh, so your, your batteries won't get sucked out of power uh, so quickly so let's see if we can uh, figure out how to get in here that's pretty simple just pull that down this pops open um, now it is plastic but it doesn't really feel cheap there's some nice little gaskets in here uh, I think you know initially that's pretty good initially um, you know a lot of guys were uh, hesitant to run the uh, the Phoenix uh, let me kill this light up here and uh, we'll take some shots all right we're about five six feet uh, from the wall there and uh, you've got a little bit of residual light uh, from the window. I put a blanket up. It is the afternoon still. But uh, basically you're going to turn on the master switch. The light already came on, so we're going to have to figure this out. <clears throat> so master switch is on, and immediately the lights on the uh, controller here come on. Uh, the orange one, let's see if we can get this in here turns the light on and off and then the blue one will actually go through the modes so just holding this in my hand here there is low and this is the six lumens I believe there's your 51 lumens pretty decent 125 good amount of light and the 230 turbo All right. Well, without reading the instructions, it took me a second to figure out which was the uh, strobe mode. So, if you double-click the power orange button, you get the strobe modes. There's the SOS. Looks like more of just a. It must be the 51 lumen, I guess, flashing. This is the one to be good for Mike, Bess Mike, Mike Messengers and the full-on 230, um, more of a tactical strobe. I know it shows up funny on the camera. But, uh, and then turn off, turn back on, you immediately go through all the modes. So, pretty impressive. Um, I'll take it out and uh, see what kind of distance we can get, what kind of spill beam uh, is on it. Looks like it's going to be a very focused beam for uh, longer shots. They do have a diffuser kit. Um, for this one, but uh, I don't know if I'll get it. But uh, yeah, here's an introduction. All right, so welcome to the six month wrap up review of the Phoenix HP 20. Um, had about four good solid outings with it, um, many very cold outings, and uh, that was kind of the original intent. Was um, you know I didn't use this clip very much, honestly the the battery pack itself is very slim. It fits into your pocket, um, even your winter jacket pocket, um, or in your pack, which I did a couple times. But it, it worked flawlessly. Now, I didn't have enough experience with it previous cold conditions um, to really decide if I was saving battery life by keeping this warmer in my pocket. But I have the original batteries in we put in in January. The Rayovax. They're not lithiums, they're not anything special, and I kind of want to do that on purpose. And uh, it worked very well. I did enjoy having a lighter headband uh, without any sort of battery pack on there, which was kind of nice. A couple different times um, when I was caving, the uh, cable was kind of a nuisance, only because the bag I had it in, this switch didn't always end up perfectly. You know, you can't move the switch up and down on the cable. So it depends on where you put this pack to where the switch is going to end up. So it's something you have to sort of have a little forethought of um, with where you're putting it. But I did lose or break one of the alligator clips um, that you attach to some of your clothing. Um, so that was about the only damage. My main concern was I heard some internet rumor about the switch going out. And um, it was one of the main concerns I had going into uh, fire season was using this and as one of my uh, headlamps and I think I'm still gonna bring it with me um, more of a concern than just the switch 
is it's still somewhat new flashlight. It only came out about, I think, the end of 2010, around the holidays. But it was the hotspot beam that it had. And um, if this thing could only zoom. But you can see what I, what I did was I took some of the privacy film you get to stick onto your, um, like, windows. And let's I guess I don't have any close by, but um, you go to Home Depot or anything, you can buy sort of privacy film that you put on your windows. Some of them it is fancy with bamboos and stuff. Just try to get the smallest sort of sand frosted version that you can. And it's about 15 bucks for a huge roll. Um, these don't use an adhesive, they just stick to the glass. So if they come off or you have to rip them off, it's a pretty easy replacement for you to make a ton of these and uh, just to stick them back on. Um, I will put up a couple shots um, right now of my sort of SLR camera um, I took and uh, sort of the different shots between diffused and non-diffused. So you can see it does add quite a bit of area light um, to the overall spill of the beam and kind of uh, defeats that hot spot a little bit. And that was one of my main concerns was talking to other more seasoned uh, wildland firefighters than myself is that um, up close work is uh, more important than uh, sort of distance trail finding work. And uh, I have a question posted on a couple different forums, a lighting forum and a, a firefighting forum just to kind of get the idea of, to see what they prefer, what lights they're using. And to be honest, you get everything from the old school guys that think a light is a light. Uh, you get a lot of guys that are buying some of the decent sort of energizer lights at Walmart for like 13 bucks and uh, are getting some decent light out of it. I want a little bit more capability, you know, being kind of a, a light whore, if you will. Uh, I enjoy my light. So uh, the Phoenix wasn't perfect. I'm actually looking at a company called Sparks. Um, but they're not quite up to production to the light that uh, I want um, to get out there. In AA, they have a really nice one in an 18650. But um, overall, it, I have had no issues with it. Um, it worked very well. Um, everything was waterproof. The band dried very well. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed having less weight on my head. And for that, I know a lot of people like the Phoenix headband. Um, Nothing fancy. It's kind of made them very popular. And to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan. I carry them as a backup so that I can keep, you know, my EDC light. And if I ever want it for a headband, I'll keep this in my, you know, like my Kodiak, my Expedition Kodiak. The other thing, as I mentioned, is not just headband webbing, but you can fit this fixture onto almost any one-inch strapping or webbing on your pack. So a lot of times I'll run this on the shoulder um, of my pack. As your you know shoulder strap comes up, there's a little webbing for the uh, top is, uh, adjustment. Go ahead and put your PD 20s, what I use, or whatever your light is, so that you have you have a body light. So everywhere where your body is squared up to, you now have light. And then you also have light on your head as it swivels. And for night hiking, um, it's phenomenal. I, in fact, uh, Crockett 20 was doing some uh, night hiking the other day with his, and um, the only issue I've had with these is it doesn't seem like I can get it far enough out on my head so that I don't get glare. I always, on whatever side it's on, on the side of my head, there's always a little bit of glare coming from that light out of the corner of my eye. And um, that sort of wrecks sort of my, not really night vision because I'm using a, a headlamp, but it always seems to mess with me. So it's not my ideal light, but I do like the fixture so that I can modify it and put it on other stuff. You guys saw it, I put one on Max's pack and they're pretty popular. but. To keep the weight down just on your head for fatigue if you're out night hiking and um, I think my last one was back in 2009 that I recorded um, there's a, it's a two-part just called night hike and uh, I guess I'll put a link up here but uh, I sent it to Crockett 20 after he did his and uh, they're fun I really enjoy them you can go to the same spot and hike at night and it's like being a different hike um, if you have a favorite hike near your area that you love to go and you know it by heart, go at night. It'll be like a brand new hike to you. Um, make sure if it's a big enough hike that you have your navigation skills down. 
Um, you know, I don't want to be responsible for any of you guys getting lost out there, but certainly having some distance finding with something like the HP 20, um, it's it's very very nice comfort to have. Even though I'll probably only use this on medium high once in a while I don't think I'll ever really need turbo but the battery life you get out of having four double A's without having to have the weight of this on your head is phenomenal and uh, again this is a six month update review I'm going to put this all into one video and um, add some pictures and whatnot but uh, thanks for watching and uh, as always I'll keep you up to date if anything else changes thanks